What's my life's purpose? Can I be happy in marriage? What do I do with my career? These and all other questions have a definite answer. Ask a car guy. If you want to ask a car guy anything you want of any type, we can get you information on how to find a job, the secret to life, sex advice and relationships, how to buy a car, keep a car, own a car, swap a car, share a car. Anything you have in mind, we can answer. And you can reach us at thefrankensteinbrothers at gmail.com. So on today's letter, here we go. Dear car guys, my husband keeps on spending so much money on this old car. I've told him countless times, you do not need to keep spending money on this car because we can just buy another one. But somehow, he keeps wanting to spend the money. We've had multiple conversations, and every time I look, I catch him at late night. <laughs> late nights, he's on eBay, standing at the computer alone, looking through parts. He just won't stop. And at this point, it's starting to impact our relationship. He's not sleeping as much as he would used to, in the bed or with me. Dear car guys, what should I do? Is it time to dump the car or dump the guy? Wait. Well, let me see. Hey. I thought about it for a second. You know, that was a hard one. I think I'd have to say, it's cheaper to keep fixing your old one rather than buy a new one because either way you're going to pay for car repairs. But the most important thing is, it's still cheaper than hookers. Well, even more than that, that's, that's hilarious actually. Uh, Mathematics, I wouldn't know. But one, one thing they didn't say in the letter that I think is important to know is, are we talking about like a pet project, the car he had when he was in college and now he's got another one? Right. Or is it the car that they use as a commuter vehicle for their family? Right. I think the big deal is, no matter what, however you mathematically break it down, the whole idea that after one point, it doesn't make sense to keep paying money for this car and throwing money in a pit, mm -hmm. that idea in most cases I found is false. Right, right, right. If you're fixing things properly, there is no such thing as never touching the bottom. If you're not fixing it properly, if you're rubber banding things together, yeah, you're going to be wasting money. That's because you're repairing the same parts over and over. Absolutely. However, I reiterate, and if it's better than porn, because when he comes home, he's not masturbating to the idea of a crankshaft. I don't know. So, is he? Hey, I don't know. I'm not the guy. But, I'll but hey, this. you know he's not cheating on you with it. To me, so long story short, should you keep the car or dump the guy? I say you keep both. Keep both. Keep both. Keep putting money into the car as long as it makes sense to. And when the car is no longer satisfying the need of your family, go ahead and then you dump it. Right. Last if it's a project that's a passion project, I say go ahead and keep and play with it. If you're just tired and you just want to buy something new, I can understand it also. I've been there. At the same time, it's usually done out of frustration, which means the people you have working for you are not doing the job. So there you have it, folks. Feel free to reach out to us and we'll answer your life's toughest questions at thefrankensteinbrothers at gmail.com. Until next time, it's been the Frankenstein Brothers, and this has been Ask a Car Guy. Yeah. Ask a Car Guy.